Hello, today we're doing lesson six and one tenth extended division facts. So why are we doing extended division facts? Well, very similar to our extended multiplication, multiplication and division are related, so we need to know shortcuts to divide numbers. So that's why we're doing that today. So let's get started. We're gonna take a look at this first problem, which is 630 divided by seven equals x. So I want you to look at that problem and see if you can figure out which number is being divided. Hopefully you're thinking 630. And so that means that 630 is the dividend, okay? Now, which number divides into the other number? That is called the divisor, and that would be what number? Seven, okay? Now, we know what the dividend is, we know what the divisor is. How many sevens are in 630? So if I covered up the zero and I said how many sevens are in 63, that should help you just a little bit. So hopefully you're thinking to yourself, oh, seven times 90 would give me 630. And so my answer is called a quotient. Now, one of the strategies that might help you with this particular kind of problem is to know a basic fact with a fact triangle. So if I had this fact triangle, okay, that should look pretty similar because you looked at those and used them last year. We can look at this fact triangle and I could cover up the nine and you could tell me 63 divided by seven and figure out that that was nine or I could cover up the seven and say 63 divided by nine and you would tell me seven because you're awesome. So anyway, that would be one of the tools that you can kind of use to help you out because our basic fact is our multiplication fact seven times nine, right? So we can look at that extended problem 630 divided by 7 and we can figure it out because we know our basic multiplication facts or at least you should know. So if you're struggling with those we need to keep practicing. So let's do another example real quick. As you can see I put in 540 divided by 6 equals x. So I could cover up that zero in 540 and figure out, okay, what times six equals 54? Think about that for a second. Hopefully you're thinking nine. Okay, so is it six times nine or it's six times 90? So our quotient in this particular answer would be 90, or I should say problem. And then if we go back to our questions that we started with, which number is being divided? That would be the 540. Which number divides into the other number? That would be six. And then we've already said what our quotient is, which is the 90. So in class, we will use knowledge of fact families and place value to solve extended division facts. So hopefully you nailed it and you'll be doing great things when you come to class.